Hello and welcome to today's video. So today we're doing a juicing video and we just wanted to show you a little bit about where we get these vegetables first of all. So this is uh, an organic shop that we like to go to. As you can see, we've got some really nice organic produce. They've got a nice refrigerated section here with loads of really cool organic stuff. It's a really, really cool shop that's quite local to us. We, we really like it. So here you can see we've now got the vegetables and we've, we've taken them home. Joanna's helping us here do the, the prep. So I'm busy working away in the other room. She's, she's doing the, the juice today. So we've got, you can see here, these are actually carrots. This purple thing, this, this thing that kind of looks like a parsnip, these are actually multicolored carrots. It's a really cool find. This is something we really like to do with juicing. That is to try juicing new and different things. Juicing really allows you to get a lot of extra variety into your diet because you can just fit so much in in such a small amount of, of liquid. So we just went with whatever we could find that was a little bit different and these were some different colored carrots this time. So you can see here we've got some apples. Got my lovely assistant there. We've got some beetroot here. We actually have a couple, we're making a variety of different juices in, in this video today. One of them is just a, a pure beetroot juice. That's why there's quite a lot of beetroot here. It can be quite strong, but we we made this juice for a, a family member that specifically requested it. But we've got a juice, uh, well, I mean, you've seen quite a lot of these vegetables here. We've got celery as the base. We've got some apples, some carrots, and a little bit of ginger as well. When you're juicing, you do have to be kind of careful, especially with herbs, even like, so you can see here, the, the celery leaves on the top, they can be quite peppery. So if you're adding leaves and herbs, so you've got fennel here as well, these can be really, really strong. So if you're adding things like this or mint, turmeric, ginger, cilantro, parsley, things like that, rosemary, you really have to be careful that you don't add too much because they're really, really strong. They can overpower it very, very quickly. It's always nice to add some greens. So here we've got some rainbow chard. Again, we're going for these for these colors. We're trying to get some different colors and flavors in here because these different colors and flavors give you different polyphenolic compounds that are gonna provide uh, various different health benefits. So going for different colors, different flavors, according to what you're able to tolerate around your, perhaps your food sensitivities, things like that. Just, just do whatever you can, you know? So here you can see Joanna is washing these vegetables. She's actually washing them in a little bit of vinegar. This isn't always necessary, but if you're doing this with like farm fresh produce, you might want to do it because sometimes they do have a bit of dirt on and they can be, they can be a bit, bit muddy and that can be a bit hard for the juicer, it can be a bit gritty and it also doesn't really taste good. So it just helps get it a little bit, a little bit cleaner. It can also kill certain bacteria and things like that. So it can be, it can be nice for that reason too. So you can see here we're juicing, we're using a, a cold press, slow masticating juicer. This is definitely the kind of juicer that you wanna use because it's gonna make the juice fresher and it's gonna keep for longer as well and you're gonna extract more juice out of the vegetables that you're using. If you're juicing good quality vegetables, they're quite expensive, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. It, it does cost a bit. So it's worth having a, a decent juicer, one of these cold press, slow masticating juicers to make sure that you can extract as much of the of the juice as much of the goodness out of these vegetables as possible so you can see here joanna's just cleaning these these jars they don't need to be sterile but you, you do want them to be to be clean and you want to freshly wash them just before you do the juice so just give them a little rinse maybe scrub them with a bit of warm water and some soap as i said you don't have to sterilize them but just make sure that they're that they're very clean and we've got a, a really cool trick that we're going to show you here so there's a a technique that we that we use to make it so that you don't have to do juice every single day. If you if you do it the way that we're doing it, we can actually make the juice last for about 48 hours instead of it, it going off very quickly. So you can see here, we're putting the juice in the container and we're putting it sort of on ice, kind of the same way that you'd store champagne, you know? So it's not freezing. If it, if it freezes, you lose some of the nutrients. But what we're trying to do here is keep it as cold as possible so it stays as fresh as possible. And obviously that jar wasn't full. That's that's going to a, to the family member. They don't they don't need a full jar, but to keep the freshness even even better, the best way to do it is to fill the jars all the way up to the top. And you'll see Joanna's going to do that in just a second. So what she's doing here is she's just filtering out all of this pulp. So this is insoluble fiber. This is really indigestible, and it and it can irritate your gut. So if you have a, a particularly sensitive gut, it can be better to to filter it out. You can see she's filtering it again. 
through this, uh, this French press that you usually use for coffee. If you need to filter it even further than that, you can consider putting it through a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag, and that can remove even more of that fiber, and if your gut is particularly sensitive, that's probably where you have to start. You can see here now, we're keeping these things really cold. We're keeping them basically on ice in the bottom of the fridge. We wanna keep it dark, we wanna keep it cool, we wanna keep it as, as free of oxygen as possible, and this is why they're all done, they're all filled all the way to the top. So, hope you found this video helpful. Hope that gave you some nice juicing tips. Let me know what you're juicing below. Leave me a comment. Let me know, let me know what you're going to try juicing and if you've noticed any benefits from juicing yourself. Hope that's been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. See you soon. Bye.